boys and girls today we will continue our lesson on healthy foods and healthy eating what are healthy foods healthy foods are foods that are good for your body and from our last few lessons you learned that to be healthy you must eat from the six food groups eating from each of the six food groups helps to keep us healthy now let us remember what the six food groups are we have our staples food group and if you can remember some examples of food from the staples food group, we have foods like potato, cassava, yam, rice, and bread. Next, we have the legumes food group. And this would include all our peas and beans and even nuts. Then we have our fruits food group. And I'm sure you can name quite a number of fruits, including banana, peach, pear, mango, apple, watermelon. Then we spoke about the vegetables food group. And again, there are a wide variety of vegetables, including lettuce, carrots, and so much more. We also spoke about food from animals, like fish and chicken and other types of meat. In today's lesson, we will learn about the last food group called fats. So children, Fats are known as go foods and the reason for this is that they give us energy to work and play. Some examples of fats, butter, margarine, cheese and even nuts. Now you may remember that nuts fall into the legumes food group but nuts also have healthy oils and fats they are good for our bodies now here we see avocado and this is also excellent for our bodies in today's lesson we want to talk about eating at different times of the day and in doing so, we will talk about eating breakfast. We will also talk about eating lunch. And we will talk about eating dinner. At different times of the day, we will eat from the various food groups. So we can have food from each of the six food groups as we eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's get into talking about breakfast. Eating breakfast. The first food we eat on mornings is called breakfast. Breakfast is sometimes known as the most important meal of the day. After sleeping all night, it's important to have a good breakfast. It will give you energy that you need to work and play throughout the day. Now here are some good choices for breakfast. Cereal such as cornflakes and milk eggs you can have fruit for breakfast such as banana apples 
even mango. You can have a glass of milk for breakfast along with something else such as bread and butter. All of these different types of food would give you the energy that you need to work and play. So every morning, eat a healthy breakfast. Let's now talk about lunch. We eat lunch at the middle of the day. It is a full meal. Okay, so we must have a full meal at lunch. What does this mean? It means that we must eat a heavy meal to keep us going throughout the day. Good examples of lunch would be fish, chicken, peas, rice, vegetables, and even soup. A soup would contain many vegetables and meat also. So all of these choices are good choices for lunch because it would make up a full meal and give you the needed energy for the rest of the day. Do you see examples from the food groups? I certainly do. Now let's talk about dinner. At what time of the day would we eat dinner? We eat dinner at night time. It is also a full meal. And here are some examples of foods that we can eat at dinner time. And these examples are similar to what we may have at lunch. We can have roti, bread, vegetables, and even soup too. Other examples might be rice and peas. We may even have chicken. It's important to eat a healthy dinner. And children, in order to stay healthy, don't forget, remember to drink six to eight glasses of water every day. And that's the end of our lesson for today.